Scene script. Are you healing from narcissistic abuse? Here are some signs you might be on the right path. The journey of healing from narcissistic abuse is a journey like no other. It's a path that is not straight or predictable. It's a path that twists and turns, with both peaks of progress and valleys of setback. But it's a journey worth taking, because it leads to a destination of self-discovery, resilience, and personal growth. This journey is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about racing to a finish line, but about celebrating each step, each breath, and each moment of self-realization. It's about the small victories, the quiet moments of clarity, the gradual shifting of your inner world. As you embark on this journey, you might notice some unique milestones. These milestones are not always grand or dramatic. Often, they are subtle shifts in your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. They are signs of progress, signs that you are moving forward, signs that you are healing. One of the first signs you might notice is the reclaiming of your identity. You start to rediscover your likes and dislikes, your passions and values, independent of the narcissist's influence. You start making choices that align with your own needs and desires, not just theirs. You start setting boundaries and sticking to them, even when it's difficult. Another sign is the emotional shift. You might notice a decrease in anxiety and self-doubt. You might find yourself able to experience a wider range of emotions, both positive and negative, without getting overwhelmed. You might develop healthier coping mechanisms for dealing with stress and challenges. You might also notice changes in your relationships. You might start attracting and nurturing supportive, genuine relationships. You might find yourself able to communicate openly and honestly, without fear of judgment or manipulation. You might start setting healthy boundaries in these relationships and respecting others' boundaries in return. And finally, you might start practicing self-compassion. You might replace self-blame with understanding and forgiveness for both yourself and the narcissist. You might start celebrating your small victories and acknowledging your progress, no matter how big or small. Remember, these signs are just indicators of progress. The journey is uniquely yours. One of the first signs of healing is reclaiming your identity. This is a critical milestone on your journey to recovery from narcissistic abuse. It's like a reawakening, a rediscovery of your own likes, dislikes, passions, and values, independent of the narcissist's opinions. This is not just about knowing what your favorite color is or what kind of music you love. It's about understanding who you are at your core, your values, and what drives you. It's also about making choices that align with your own needs and desires, not just theirs. This can be as simple as deciding what to eat for dinner or as complex as choosing a career path. The key is that these choices come from you and serve your happiness and well-being. Setting boundaries is another vital part of reclaiming your identity. It's about saying no when you need to, even when it's difficult. This is your life. It's time to live it on your terms. Reclaiming your identity is a crucial step towards healing. As you heal, you'll notice emotional shifts. This is a significant part of your journey towards recovery and a clear sign that you're making progress. One of the first things you'll notice is a decrease in anxiety and self-doubt. You'll find yourself worrying less and you'll start to regain the confidence that the narcissist tried to strip away. You'll also begin to experience a wider range of emotions. This might seem a little daunting at first, but it's perfectly normal. You're learning to navigate your feelings, both positive and negative, without getting overwhelmed. And as you continue to heal, you'll develop healthier coping mechanisms. Instead of turning to harmful habits or negative thought patterns, you'll find constructive ways to deal with stress and challenges. This could be anything from taking up a hobby to practicing mindfulness. These emotional shifts are signs that you're moving in the right direction. Trust in this process and remember, you're doing just fine. Healing also brings changes in your relationships. As you heal, you may find yourself drawing in supportive, authentic connections. These are the type of people who understand and respect your journey, who don't make you feel small or insignificant, but rather, they uplift you. It's like a breath of fresh air, isn't it? To finally be surrounded by individuals who genuinely care and wish well for you. You'll also notice an evolution in how you communicate. 
There's an openness, a transparency that wasn't there before. You express your thoughts and feelings without the fear of being judged or manipulated. You speak your truth, and it feels incredibly liberating. And let's talk about boundaries. They're crucial, aren't they? In the past, your boundaries might have been overstepped or completely ignored. But now, you're setting them, and most importantly, respecting them. You understand that boundaries are not walls to keep people out, but rather, guidelines that ensure mutual respect and understanding. And it's not just about your boundaries, you're also respecting others' boundaries. Because you know how it feels when boundaries are disregarded, you ensure you don't do the same to others. It's a sign of respect, a sign of maturity. These changes in your relationships are not coincidental. They're a reflection of the healing that's taking place within you. You're growing, you're evolving, and your relationships are evolving with you. Healthy relationships are a positive sign of your healing journey. Last but not least, healing from narcissistic abuse involves developing self-compassion. This means replacing the heavy burden of self-blame with understanding and forgiveness. You see, nurturing self-compassion is about acknowledging that you, like everyone else, are human. Humans make mistakes and that's completely okay. It's about letting go of the weight of perfectionism and unrealistic expectations. Self-compassion also involves practicing self-care. This isn't just about bubble baths and spa days, although those can certainly be part of it. It's about putting your well-being first. It's about nourishing your body with good food, moving in ways that feel good, getting enough rest, and taking time for activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. It's about saying no when you need to, and yes, when you want to. Moreover, self-compassion means celebrating your small victories. Perhaps today you were able to set a boundary or speak up for yourself. Maybe you took time for self-care or simply got out of bed. No matter how big or small, these are all victories worth celebrating. Remember, healing isn't a race or a competition. It's a personal journey, unique to you. So give yourself the grace and kindness you would offer to a good friend. Your self-compassion is a testament to your strength and resilience. Be gentle with yourself, celebrate your progress, and keep moving forward. You've got this.